right, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING. Get you 18% off the 100% all-natural products. Website, promo code description. Thanks. Oh, man, I jumped off the live, and I seen uh, Canelo gave a reason why he don't want to fight Demetrius Andrade. And the funny thing about it is that Boxing Ego did a stream yesterday. He was talking about this exact scenario. And um, let's talk about it. We back. Goodfella Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And, um, you know, all my stuff, Dream Chase keeps saying, you you keep the same energy like you do for Earl, for, for Canelo and everybody else. Boy, I keep the same energy for everybody, man. I'm the only one that was dogging Canelo out about the Clint Buterall uses. I'm the only one that was dogging Leo Santa Cruz out over Gary Russell. I'm the only one. Well, I'm one the only one. I'm one of a few that was dogging Triple G out from the beginning. I keep the same energy for nobody. I don't put nobody above nobody. If you a duck, you a duck. And at the end of the day, um, Canelo Alvarez is 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 a duck, you know. But let's get into what he had to say about Demetrius Andrade knocking sizzle on him. He says that uh, Canelo on well, Canelo on Demetrius Andrade. The truth is, he hasn't fought anybody, and he's also very boring. Maybe he's a good fighter, but he's a very uh, he's a boring fighter. When there's a boring fight, people are going to blame me. He doesn't represent a challenge because he doesn't he hasn't fought anybody. At the end of the day, he got a belt. You said you wanted to be undisputed, okay? Rocky Fielder hadn't fought nobody, right? Amir Khan hadn't fought nobody at 54 or at middleweight. Y'all technically fought at middleweight. So at the end of the day, is he, he you don't want to fight him because he's boring? Well, I mean, what's so exciting about Rocky Fielding? What's so exciting about Eric Lani Lard? What's so exciting about Liam Smith? You know what I'm saying? These, these are cold words, or this is, this is a code for I don't want to fight him because he's a challenge. At the end of the day, I agree. Demetrius Andrade fought absolutely nobody. He's made some of the stupid boxing, most stupid boxing decisions that you can ever make. Okay? Him and Andre Ward made some of the dumbest decisions. Andre Ward re up with Goosen, then going to Rock Nation to start up. Hurt his career, right? But he made his money. He did what he had to do. Demetrius Andrade, star, banner boxing, then going to the zone. He did it to himself. Okay, at the end of the day, he thought he'd go to the zone and everybody on the same side of the street. But no, really, you in the middle of the street, Charlo on the other side of the street. And on the other side of the street is Triple G, Canelo, Calvin Smith, Billy Joe Saunders, and etc. See people in the comment section, oh, Billy Joe's the only person that can give Demetrius, uh, give Canelo an issue. Dude, Demetrius Andrade was probably going with Billy Joe Saunders. We just going to forget Billy Joe Saunders was shooting that shit up his ass? <laughs> You know, Demetrius Andrade requested to fight Billy Joe Saunders again. Billy Joe Saunders ducked him. The Pilgrim Eddie Hearn ain't keeping his promises to Demetrius Andrade. All Demetrius Andrade doing is, is getting a fat check. And that's probably all he wanted at the end of the day. 32 years old and hasn't fought anybody. And I agree with Canelo on that. But if he ain't fought nobody, and you said you want all the belts, fight him then. <laughs> fight him. See, it's always, oh, he, he got a boring style. No, because I got a style that complicates you. I got foot movement, got height, I got reach. I'm a challenge. I'm a challenge. It ain't that he born. He's a challenge. Floyd Mayweather was born. Pity Pat, pity Pat, roll, slide to the side. You fought him? This is why people don't respect Canelo. You know what I'm saying? This is why people don't respect Canelo because when... He dug Dervinchenko because we see why he didn't want to fight Dervinchenko, right? Young, a younger fighter in his prime. You know what I'm saying? Because people say, well, Canelo got the best resume, active resume amongst the, you know, fighters that's not already legendary like Pacquiao and Mayweather, you know, you know, that's still in the game. But in actuality, you know, he get close decisions. It's been rumored that he's been cheating since he was been fighting Floyd Mayweather. With whatever he was saying, Clint Buterall, whatever the situation may be. You know what I'm saying? And talk about a boring fight. You and Danny Jacobs was boring. You can't hurt nobody. 
You know what I'm saying? He not hurt nobody at middleweight. He fought Liam Smith. He was born by checking for Liam Smith. You know what it is? Andre had a problem. He a challenge. That's what, who who is he fought? That's what I said about Bud. Who is he fought? If I ain't fought nobody, I should be an easy lick. If I ain't fought nobody, you should be able to beat me with no problem. If I ain't fought, I got a belt. Now, Canelo not recognize the WBO belt because when Demetrius Andre had the WBO belt, Canelo set his ass at 155. As soon as Andre was stripped and Liam Smith beat Liam Williams for the belt, Canelo came down and fought Liam Smith for the belt. So at the end of the day, that's why Canelo will never get respect from the majority of boxing fans. Mexican fans and hardcore Canelo fans or apologists to Canelo, they can live in the fantasy world all they want to. It's the same as uh, Chavez fans living in the fantasy world. Chavez Sr. It's the same as Oscar De La Hoya fans living in the fantasy world. At the end of the day, people that lived through them times know they weren't the best fighter of their time. They know they wasn't. Oscar De La Hoya robbed Felix Sturm. He, got, he robbed a few people. Had a close fight with Ike Corte, robbed Pernell Whitaker. Chavez robbed Frankie Randall before. Robbed, people think he robbed Mildred, Taylor's, Ta uh, Mildred Taylor. Robbed, uh, uh, robbed, uh, robbed Pernell Whitaker. Come on. This is why people don't fuck with Canelo. This is why he a fraud. Because when a, when a fighter presents a challenge, when he presents your, his yin to your yang, you don't go out there and dominate. He ain't never dominated nobody he fought. He dominated Chavez, but he was drained. He still couldn't knock him out. So all of a sudden, Canelo going to jump up to 175 and probably KO Kovalev, and we not going to look at him funny? We not going to look at him funny. We going to act like he jumped up by himself. And he, come on, you know the system rigged for guys like Canelo. Vada didn't really want to catch Canelo, but they had to report him. They probably call Canelo. Yeah, we coming on Tuesday, uh, October 25th or some shit like that. This is why Canelo won't get respect universally. That's why. That's why he'd never been in the same vein as Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson, and Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. This is why you never will because he fought everybody when they was past their prime. Sugar Shane Mosley. And everybody he, he did fight they was younger, it was close. Austin Trout, Arizona Lara. Come on. Chavez. Couldn't even stop away drain Chavez. You know what I'm saying? We fought an older Miguel Cotto. And he came in a rumor 190 pounds. Come on. Danny Jacobs. Still didn't dominate Danny Jacobs like he was supposed to. Had a close decision versus Golovkin the first time. Some people thought it was close the second time. I thought he won. Beat up Rocky Fielding. What did Rocky Fielding do to deserve a Canelo fight? Nothing. He didn't present. He was he was he was born. He didn't present a challenge. That's what it was. What did Liam Smith do to deserve a fight? They beatable. That's why he want to fight Kovalev because Kovalev he ain't got that rhythmic moving like Demetrius Andre. I got people say it's true. Demetrius Andre ain't fighting nobody. How I fight? How can I fight somebody? It's just the same thing. The Errol Spence effect. When he was on PBC, how can I prove that I can fight somebody? When everybody, I, I got everybody don't want to fight. Billy Joe Saunders got caught, popped hot. Offered him a fight again. He didn't want to fight me. Denny Jacobs want to move up and wait. Triple G, I caught, I won the ring, caught him out. He don't want to fight me. So it don't even matter. What side of the street you as you you are on as a black fighter? Because when you look at it, whoever it may be, Eddie Hearn, De La Hoya, Al Heyman, they're gonna protect the Mexicans, the Kazakhstan, the white people, and some of the black people. Look at Gary Russell. He on the same side of the street as Leo and, and Javante. They won't let him fight him. You know? And at the end of the day, when, when when black fighters wake up and realize that you paying all these money to these Hispanic and these foreign sanction bill bodies, I hate to say it, but Dana White might be might be the might be it. You know what I'm saying? I hate for a white man to seem like to say boxing, but he might be it. Because the system is protecting them. Your manager, your prom your managers or your promote well, your promoters are protecting their other assets and treating you like you just a number. 
Your network ain't even on your team. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if I'm not going to get the fight, why shouldn't I go fuck with Dana White? Why shouldn't I go fight for a, 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 well, one belt It's the most meaningful fight? In the money, right? Why should I let the, the system tell me Canelo the best, but we all know he been robbing motherfuckers on the scorecards. He, he been cheating, putting shit up his ass. That's been proven. I don't have to say allegedly. It's a fact. Oh, I can't beat him on the scorecards. Oh, I got to knock him out to win. Or he going to get a 20 count like Tyson Fury. Well, why should I even, even, even submit to the system? Why should I submit to WBO, IBF, WBC, WBA, and they all in Canelo back pocket? They only ride with who bring the biggest purse. Why wouldn't I want to support a change? Because without Demetrius Andrade, without Charlo, without Spence, without Crawford, without Wilder, they can't make no money in America. You know what I'm saying? And Canelo just a straight hoe. But you use his name, you know, when you when Dervichenko, when you when you were scared to fight Dervichenko, I'll fight Demetrius Andrade next. Come on, bro. You said you want all the belts. You tried to have Triple G as a hitman to go get the belt because you were scared to fight him. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, people going to protect. Oh, he don't deserve to fight. Everybody know this a duck. He don't want to fight him. He admitted he don't want to fight. This is why Canelo will never be all time great to me. This is why he never be pound for pound number one. Because he's shooting shit up his ass and he's cheating. It is what it is. Good fella sports TV. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, response, ship, or video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love, support, man. Definitely do. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. Promo code Goodfella one boxing Get your 18% off the 100% all natural products. Lotion, soap, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant. 100% all natural products. Website, promo code, description. Check them out, man. Get 18% off when you use that promo code. You want to make a donation, that link's description. Best way to donate is share the video for your boy. And appreciate everybody who do donate to the channel. Much love.